Hi, I'm Kim. Let's have a look at lifting furniture to get them on a loft. Now, you may have noticed that furniture, like this futon, can't be placed on a loft. And yet, here it is. In addition, I'll also show you how to reverse the stairs leading up to this loft, because that requires some magic trickery as well. First off, I'm doing all of this on a controller plus keyboard. No mouse required. I'm saying that in case you also play on a PlayStation. However, I did need a keyboard to be able to quickly press escape to make this work. I just couldn't press circle on the controller quickly enough. Let's get started. Even though I use a controller and keyboard, I switch to mouse and keyboard mode here. You don't have to switch to mouse and keyboard mode immediately. In fact, later when I show my full playback of setting up a loft space, you'll see that I switch to mouse and keyboard mode only when I need to. Having said that, you must remember to switch by not exiting the housing interface or your floating furniture will drop to the ground again. Be aware of that. Remember that you'll have to call up the character configuration window with K and can't just quit out of the housing interface. Okay. Let's find a nice spot on the floor underneath where we want the loft to be. Right now, I'll only show lifting the futon alone. We need a stage panel here to be able to place a loft at the futon's floor level. Next, I bring out the futon that I want to lift up and place it beneath where I want it to lift to. Then it's time to use the wooden loft to lift up the futon. Note that it needs to come from your inventory and counter placement needs to be enabled. The loft has to intersect with the futon as shown here. As I place the loft, I immediately hit escape on the keyboard. So I press X on the controller and almost instantly hit escape on the keyboard afterwards. This is the most tricky part because if you're too slow then this won't work unfortunately. After this it's just a matter of removing the loft and repeating its placement again and again until the futon has been lifted to its final position. We are not entirely done though. To fix the futon in place I need to rotate it. This must be done in mouse and keyboard mode because rotating in controller mode will also adjust placement which would drop the futon back to the floor again. If you're in controller mode, you can bring up the character configuration window by pressing K, because you can't leave the housing interface before done rotating. Right, with the futon hanging there mid-air, let's exit the apartment to save its position. I know it's staring after all this work, but you'll see that the futon will still be nicely floating mid-air when I re-enter the apartment. With the loft setup, let's talk about the stairs. If I try to place them normally, then you'll see that they'll be facing the wrong direction and I can't flip them using the housing interface. In fact, the stairs will have a set orientation on each of the walls. It's time to bring out the stage panel again. Placing the stairs on the stage panel lets me move them over to the loft facing the right direction. But how do I remove the stage panel again? First, I make sure the stairs are in its final position before I even try to remove the stage panel. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I select the stairs, but this time the counter placement is disabled. I pretend I want to place the stairs again, but then I cancel the action. I don't even need to be quick for this one. So really, I haven't done anything to the stairs at all, but I can move the stage panel away from them now. Next, I can simply remove the stage panel and the stairs stay in place. Phew. Okay, so I run through the whole loft setup that I showed at the very beginning of the video. I first place my whole arrangement on the floor to see if it will fit on the loft. Then I lift the futon and I make sure that I have grid locking turned on. That will make placing the loft in its final position easier without risking to clip the futon. Then, at floor level, I place the reminding items on the loft. Of course, that is also where I figure out that a floor lamp can't be placed on the loft. I tried glitching the floor lamp like the futon, but it just wouldn't lift. Anyway. The other items do stick to the loft and it doesn't take much to fit them nicely. Proper stair placement was a bit tricky. Since the final placement needs to be, well, final, I had to check and double check that the stairs are actually properly aligned. None of this is particularly hard to do, but it can be a bit tedious because it involves a bit of trial and error. But then I guess that's interior design to you. <laughs> and that's it. Like and subscribe or don't. But if you're still here, maybe stop by and say hi in person at twitch.tv slash kimfennec. See ya!